Yo, all right, here we go. Uh, welcome back to SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. I am Ninja Killer Seventy Four, and uh, I'm still not used to saying that. That's weird. <laughs> I need an intro too. But um, in the last part, we basically got the little intro plot, which is you know uh, a lot of exposition saying that. Plankton was creating some robots to try to get the Clara Patty formula, and it didn't go too well because he forgot to set the switch to obey. And because of that, the robots decided to do what they wanted to do themselves. And uh, they've been wreaking havoc. Kinds. So, uh, SpongeBob believes that he and Patrick caused this because they made a wish on Patrick's magic wishing shell, and they think that he uh, caused uh, all this chaos with these robots. So, we're basically going around and trying to stop the evil robot menace. Another thing I can mention, I'm sorry about what I'm using for this, but these like guys who are sitting here as NPCs, you can actually walk up to them and you can smack each and every one of them. Um, that's something that I kind of do for fun. <laughs> it's just kind of funny to watch that happen. Or, you know, I'm not going to be a menace. I can get it too. But um, in this part, we are going to start the first section of Jellyfish Fields. I think what I'm going to do, because each world has like a bit of a that's like a bit of a, uh, I'll, I'll say they're like split into like four different sections. I think I'll do two full sections in a video and then cut the video and then I'll finish uh, the second half of the uh, the level uh, in another part. So we're going to do the first two parts of Jellyfish Fields in this part. Alright, we're going to take the second. Off we go to Jellyfish Fields. Ah... Uh, Jellyfish Fields. Ah, I some... the rolling green hills of Jellyfish Fields. A place to experience nature at its most raw, and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. Ah! Now we got Squidward ah! running for his life from uh, this robot right here. Oh, he can make it. He can make it. Uh-oh. And now he's cornered by Jellyfish. Squidward, are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy. And oh my gosh, you're bald! <sighs> I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King j j Jellyfish! Well, I guess you're off to scale Spork Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here, balled up here in excruciating pain. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward! I'll bring back that King Jellyfish Jelly for you to rub all over yourself! Shout out to the voice talents in this game. Which, you know, most of the original cast. Uh, we have Roger Bumpus right there for Squidward, and we have Tom Kenny for Spongebob. Can I get some more shiny objects right here? Because uh, there are shiny object gates that you have to get by in this, in this game. As you saw earlier, uh, with the doors and stuff. Here's our first robot! You know, the dude get right up on us, and we can just swing our wand and take them out. Here's jellyfish. If you actually stay too close to these jellyfish, uh, they will hurt you. They will zap you. They will sting you, just like they did Squidward. I could show it off, but I don't want to show that off. Right here. Yeah, this tells you about goo. So, SpongeBob and Patrick, spoiler alert, you can play as Patrick in this game, can't swim. So, uh, if they fall in goo, uh, they yeah, they drown. That's not water. That is goo. This sign right here will tell you about what this right here is. The, uh... There we go. The teleportation box. So you want to open that box so later you'll find another box in this level. Or this, this part of the level. Yeah, so that way you can get on there and you can, uh, well... You can, uh... Teleport. Tate. Alright, here's some more shiny objects. Pop across here. I feel like a new sponge. Alright, hop up here. And whip! There we go. 
Okay, I only got the middle roll there. There we go. Things are going nice. Come out here. Get rid of that guy. Uh, hop on top of these guys. Whoop! Whoa! Nice try. They try to take me out, but to no avail. Okay, hop up here. You can actually chain moves in this, in this version of the game like that. You used to not be able to do that. Alright, cool. There's our uh, gate right there. We'll worry about that in a little bit. We're going to get pretty much most of what we can here. I missed a little red joint up there. That it doesn't matter. Shines. Red is like the lowest value shiny object. I believe the next highest value is... Yellow? Then I think it's green. Then blue. And then purple is the uh, worth the most. Red is worth one. I believe yellow is worth like two or three. I can't remember. Uh... I think green is like there's a sucker. Boy, I think green is like. To have this bag. Well, I know for a fact purple is fifty. Purple is a, is worth fifty. So green has to be worth like maybe ten, and blue has to be worth twenty. I would say that would make sense. Anyway, we're gonna drop the load. Reference to the uh, kelp forest episode, and we have a brick now. You don't really have to grab those, you can just, like, gravitate towards them. Yeah! Alright, take that guy out. Like, you can only just jump. And as long as you get close to them, then they will they will just gravitate to you. Which, I guess this game implies that Spongebob has his own gravitational pull. I would assume he doesn't weigh that much. Soundtrack in this game is pretty good too. Uh, there's something that we can't do anything with late until we get Patrick later, actually. Oh, there we go. Alright, we can hop back up here. Camera can kind of walk us down. Hop up here. There we go. Ooh, wait a minute, hold on. Yeah, that was extremely satisfying, actually. Uh, we can hop right across. Over here. Nice. You can actually see SpongeBob Cowboy and Beer there. <laughs> We're gonna take this guy out just because I don't like his face. Alright, there we go. I swear I am not a violent person. Mostly. Across? And yeah, we're gonna bam. There we go. And we got another sock over there. So let's hop over to this island. Across these barrels. I probably don't even have to double jump. Actually, I did have to double jump there. Double jump whenever you like can, essentially. That. Fine for Very, uh, it's a safety blanket. Blue, blue, blue. And the purple. And we can bounce all the way back. Off that trampoline. And up from this platform right here. You want to be careful up here. Uh, I don't know if in the original version of the game they outlined where it was. But you can actually know where these guys are going to land. Because you see these little pufferfish guys getting shot out that cannon over there, right? Where they land is these little uh, bald spots where there's like no no grass. So as long as you don't step on those spots, you should be good. Alright, there we go. Keep pushing. Stay out of the side. And we can come over here and we can just destroy the cannon. Now we see Gary over here. He's going to tell us about something hey, right here. Hey Gary, what's shaking? Meow, meow. Wow, a bungee jump for a golden spatula! I must be in heaven! So yeah, that's something that only SpongeBob can do in this game. There are bungee jumps like that. And you can just go down and typically there's presents. something at the bottom of them for you. So right here, we have a golden spatula, as SpongeBob just said. So all we gotta do is hop up here, go down, 
And, uh, well, we missed the spatula, but let's get the shiny objects too, I guess, while we can. I'm missing the golden spatula somehow. I don't know how I am. There we go. Uh, should we get the little shiny object? We got them all. All right, let's go. Man, he's gonna hit with what he would say. I don't know if he says it in this version, but he used to say ultimate wedgie experience. And we're gonna make some platforms show up by doing this. We can hop right across. That guy's been destroyed, and right now we're about to have our instance of our first new robot type. Yeah, he is not uh, messing with that dude whatsoever. And that robot's name is Hammer, because, you know, he uses it like a hammer, and, you know, uh, he's a hammer. I get it. I oh, he said the line. Are you okay, sir? I hope you're okay. I hear one of my dogs barking Just in the background. I apologize if you guys can hear that. Coming through. Like I said, we stuff out here. We big stuff. Take it. pop up here. You gotta distinguish what's out of bounds and what's not out of bounds. Uh. Ooh, over here. Oh, this is dangerous to do, but uh. Okay, there we go. Got them all. Nice. Up, up over here. There's some blue jellyfish. Difference between blue jellyfish and red jellyfish. Or pink jellyfish, excuse me. Blue jellyfish will sting you much quicker. Over here is something that we can't do yet. Uh, so we're not going to worry about that. And we just going to keep it pushing. So yeah, be careful these guys. They will go to sting you much faster. Their area of uh, effect might be larger too. I don't know. Nice. Here they were talking about goo again. Bam. Across. Across. Bam. I could hop across and get that, but I am not brave enough to go for that. Go over there for that. Some years with as many or as least deaths as possible. I don't want to die. Uh, so yeah. I mean, I promise I am going to die, and I'm not talking about just real life in the game at some point. Hop right across. Wee! Only get all those. All right, we got all those. Oh, I almost missed that one. And well, this will bounce us right up here. Hey, another you. sock. Patrick needs to do laundry. Apparently, Patrick does not wash these socks. Why he needs socks in the first place, I honestly don't know. Oh boy! I didn't want that to happen. I didn't want that to happen. I just fell off the side like that. What I was gonna show was that you can get back to the area you needed to be. By just jumping on the uh, the old tree up there, it was gonna bounce you right back over to the area that we were supposed to be at. Unfortunately, I sucked right there. So uh, yeah, I gotta walk all the way back because I fell off. That's unfortunate. Luckily, it's not that far. Uh, I don't need to cut anything out because I really don't need to. Oh shit! Yeah, that's what happens when you hit the uh, the goo. I don't need that to happen again. I don't know what's happening. I just lost any type of a uh, skill that I had in this game. All right, these little bridges right here, these little balance bridges. Yeah, there was actually a, they had to actually had to patch the game because there was like when this game first came out, this version of it, right? It actually made it very difficult for people to make that jump right there. It would almost feel like you weren't bouncing at all. Alright, here's a Duplicatatron. If we come over here and we destroy it, it's worth creating more robots. Which it did make one more. Uh, it stops making robots. They also blow up upon impact. So, uh, you want to make sure you destroy those when you can. And we have our next golden special. And we're going to move on to Jelly. I believe coming up is going to be our first instance of Mermaid Man's voice, so uh, 
Whoa, You're gonna hear what I mean. Mermaid Man, I have all your comics and toys and mail. Huh? What? Oh, yeah, it's that sponge kid. And now, what was I supposed to tell you? Yeah, it's uh, definitely noticeable. That Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help. Huh? Oh, no. I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must. Help! They're making me hit myself! Massaging your feet isn't working. I think I'd better try a more direct approach. By clipping my toenails? Here I come, Patrick! <laughs> Alright. Now, with that character interaction out of the way, we're going to come down here. And we're actually going to... The reason why we activated this box is because, well... We're going to come down here. We're going to get to a slide, oh, slide, slide. Presents. And instead of just kind of going down the regular, we're going to jump on this path right here. We get a sock on this path. If we come up here, we fun. get another sock. I should do it again sometime. Another time for Patrick. We can open that box right there. And here we go. We have our first, I guess, challenge or mini boss, whatever you want to call it. Essentially, we need to go up there, destroy all the duplicatrons, and hit the switches. Well, we don't need to destroy the duplicatrons technically, but you get shiny objects for doing it. So. Shines. That. Ooh, watch out. Sometimes pushing Whoa. a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. I landed on his head. That was weird. <laughs> you just met the sponge. Ow. That's what happens when you get hit. Switch. Whoop. Fresh like a spring breeze. Yeah. Nice. And we're gonna just hop right over here. You wanna collect as many shiny objects as you can while you're playing this game. There are areas where you can farm shiny objects, actually. It takes a lot of uh, grinding, though. And we have saved Patrick! Hop right across. Hey, SpongeBob! Whew! Thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I be? Well, the robots and the. Oh, yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, but it looks important. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around has left me pooped. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay. Now we're playing seven. Miss the star. All right, so we're gonna hop right here. Now here is where they would tell you about throw fruit. So if you remember that, whatever, uh, you see these like little fruit on these little patches. Only Patrick can use these. He picks those up, and you can just throw them at switches, and you can throw them at enemies and stuff. You gotta carry a lot of stuff around. You can throw them at tiki's too. Uh, they don't home. Patrick has a little belly flop like that too. He has a move like that. So There's a bus stop. You use this when you want to switch between characters. We don't need Sponge up right now, though, so we don't need to do that. Now we're gonna hit that guy because we can. We'll throw this up here. Throw this right here. Hit it one more time and throw it at that switch. Excellent day. We're gonna take this. We're gonna go into this little seesaw and we're gonna bounce right on over. Get this little yellow shiny object. Hop across. I believe you, you can see him here, right? If you can't tell, coming up, we're actually going to see Plankton. I don't see him yet. Oh, I can see him. He's on the little rock right there. A little green speck, if you can see that. But yeah, these Thunder Tiki's, like I said, they, they blow up whenever you uh, get close. Ow! I was trying to throw it at those guys. That didn't end too well. I blame you for that, sir. All right, we're gonna just go on and Plankton's gonna talk to Patrick real quick. Hey, you barnacle head! Watch where you're going! The rock is talking to me. Almighty rock, I am at your command! 
Down here, you big pink lummox. Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Are you going to vaporize me today? So very tempting. Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. I was in an undesirable position yesterday, and now my neck hurts. Pause? Heed my words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. Well, then will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop, making low-quality design and knockoff wallets. <laughs> That's a very smart joke that I think a lot of kids aren't going to understand. But yeah, so the writing in this game can be fairly smart. Oh, thank you! <laughs> so yeah, we're over here now. Um, oops, I was wrong. We're going to belly flop that. And in we go! Ooh, scary dark cave. You want to watch out for these things, because they will blow up too. And they have a little bit of blast damage on them. Right here. I could throw a thing over there at that guy. Oh! Nice try. Yeah, I'm sure we'll do that. Why not? You just walk over here. Toss the fruit. When you, when you destroy the fruit, it grows back immediately. So, you don't gotta worry about that. You can destroy that too. You can get this. Throw that right there. And we can throw that right there. Laser whistle! Up here so we can get the underwear. Oh, actually, hold on. Come on, Patrick, grab the... Yeah, right, we'll do that, that, or, well, that way. Jump up on that platform. A little small little rock over there. All right, you want to be careful right here, because these little spikes will hurt you. Something that you can do in this game that you couldn't do in the original is that you can actually do that little belly uh, bop, or whatever that is, that is, that uh, Patrick does in midair. In the original version, you were not allowed to do that! Okay, goodness, that thought I was gonna get shocked right there. We're gonna wait. Alright, now we're gonna go. Gonna wait. Oops. Don't get hit by these little molten rock. Uh oh, woo! Nice try. We can pick this guy right here up. And we can come over here and throw him at that thunder tee. Boom, big combo. We're gonna throw this on this pressure switch. That's gonna be temporary. It's gonna sit there, it's gonna let us walk through this gate. Then we're gonna take this throw for right here, we're gonna throw it up there. And use it as a platform. So we can make this jump. We're gonna take this throw fruit and throw it right there on top of that throw fruit. Hop up here, and we made it up here, and we're going to throw this right there, and we're going to throw that one right there, and we have a... Uh... Aha! I knew there was a sock up here. Oh, goody, another one! I was just going through it, and I was thinking about something. I was like, I feel like I'm missing something. Yeah, there's a sock right there. Like I said, if, if, it's, if I know where it's at, and it's not, like, out of the way, then I'll grab it when I can. I'm going to hop up here. We got uh, this. If Patrick's gonna do his slide, he slides on his little, on his uh, his tushy, his booty cheeks. How many of these do I have to carry? You want to be careful down here because there are some thunder tikis on this path. And if you hit these thunder tikis, you will indeed blow That's up like better. that. <laughs> okay, we already got the box there. Right there is a well, another type of throw fruit. It's a freeze fruit. You want to take this, and you can see there's a sock over there. You want to throw it on the water or the goo. And you uh, freeze the entire goo up, and Patrick can just walk across. The other character that we can play, play as in this game actually does know how to swim, which is funny. But you never play in any levels with that character where there is water, so you don't get to see that character swim. Get a crown over here. I don't think SpongeBob's yeah, underwear that. fits quite right. Ooh, again, again! You can do that for that guy. Now, what you want to do actually here is that you want to belly flop because it'll do this. This part can be pretty annoying to do. 
Get out of here. That's much better. There we go. You got cross? Oh, I gonna her. We're gonna hit this uh did you get it on? Hop back over. And take both of these guys out. I'm gonna get my health back real quick, just because I can. Oh, we already got our health. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And we made it to the end of the jellyfish cave, which means that we are uh, halfway through this world. So with that, I'm going to end the part here. And in the next one, we are going to continue on to the jellyfish lakes. This has been your boy Ninja Killer 74, and I will see you guys in the next one. Ciao.